Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here. Do you hate completing setup? If so, you're definitely not alone, but I think with a bit of strategy, this quest can actually become fun. At least I tend to enjoy it each time it comes around. The quest itself requires you to kill 15 PMCs on customs, wearing a Yushanka hat and a scav vest using an MP series shotgun. Clearly, using a Yushanka means that you can't wear a helmet, no big deal, but there was a time that you weren't allowed to wear any headsets at all with it, which is why I think so many people have bad memories of this quest. Fortunately, now you can, but the M32s are still blocked for some reason. For the scav vest, the Jaeger Slickers Barter is almost always cheaper than getting them from the fleet, but the real limitation here is that you can't wear any armoured rigs because of it. As we're using shotguns, you most likely want to use a budget kit, but that severely limits your choice in class 4, as there are only 4 actual armours. Some people love the trooper, but it's relatively expensive, thorax only, and we're likely to be up close where a bare stomach is pretty dangerous. Personally, I'd go for something else. The Thor, on the other hand, covers stomach and thorax. It has about the same durability as the 6B3TM, aka the Rat Rig, which can be picked up for around 50k usually on the fleet, which is a decent mid-tier option in my opinion. Now I have seen players using class 2s and 3s such as the Doctor Disrespect, the Press or just the Packer, but personally I value armour pretty highly, especially if you aren't that skilled at shooting and often coin flip in fights with other players. These armors really will not save you from the vast majority of rounds used by PMCs when most people are trying to complete this quest. If you're relatively good for money and trader levels and want a bit more survivability, the Karund can be an option from Prapple 3 with the Diary Barter or Ragman 3's Gazelle Armor Barter, which is one that I used mostly because I did set up relatively late in my progression. Karunds are the more economic choice as they repair well and are often left behind for insurance to pick back up, but the Gazelle decreases the 18% move speed debuff to just 10%, which is quite important when using shotties as you have to stay mobile. For the guns, we can use the 153, the 155, the 133 or the double barrel. This means we're using 12 gauge shells, and which we choose dictates how we end up modding our gun. The main decision is between multi-pellet cartridges or slugs, and for this quest I prefer multi-pellet because you don't really have to aim. Slugs are mostly low penetration, and zeroing is tricky, best for legs really at medium ranges, which is harder to engineer on customs in my opinion. AP20 slugs actually unlock with this quest, so the best quote unquote slug can't even be bought for it, although it can be made in Workbench 3 if you're really committed to this route. At Jaeger 4, you can buy rip rounds for 210 each, which kills in two leg shots, which is kinda cool, but I find that slugs just don't really work that well most of the time, not for me anyway. Now, you can make any of the buckshot cartridges work, and of the regular ones it hardly makes any difference really, but we've previously seen that the 5.25mm is actually the slowest and so it drops off damage less than the other two. This gives each pellet the ability to kill to the head out to about 10 meters, which isn't the case with 7mm or Express, which need two pellets to connect. However, Express has more damage potential overall up to 10 meters because the extra pellet makes up for the drop off. Magnum is likely better than all of these though because the overall damage is incredible and with 50 damage per pellet you can headshot players with a single pellet out to over 100 meters. Despite adding a bunch of recoil to your weapon, for shotguns this doesn't really matter much because recoil bottoms out at the low 100s anyway even when modded heavily. When you fire, you lose sight picture at 100 recoil or 200 recoil regardless and sure it's more stable with 100 but the return to center time is the same in both cases. The final multi-pellet cartridge is Flechette. This is the one that I ended up using exclusively for this quest. Flechette has some really cool features that make it great. First of all, it has 31 penetration. This means that it smashes through armor like crazy, two-shotting pretty much every lightweight or budget armor, and even at the higher classes it three shots are slick if every dart hits. It's also relatively slow at 320 meters, but this means that it has very little damage and penetration drop off over range. What hurts it more is that because the damage potential is only 200 total, i.e. 25 times 8, if you don't hit with enough darts then enemies can get away or not die fast enough at medium distance. For me, the best thing about Flechette though is that because of its features, you can just target center of mass and blast away, as hitting armor is really no big deal. This plays into most people's existing muscle memory and sometimes you just get a headshot too, but we do have to work around the range issues a little bit with our movement. But going back to the weapons, the two practical guns here are the 153 and the 155 as they are both semi-auto and I've done a deep dive into these previously which I'll link at the end rather than going back over everything all over again, but in short the 153 has a better return to centre time than either the 155 or the 133 which means you can get off more accurate shots in a shorter time. Some like the 155 for the higher ergo using the modded version, but you can build the 153 really cheaply into a very usable weapon. 
The base comes from Jaeger 2 for just under 30k or using the Skier 1 barter if the keys are cheap and I have three versions of the 153 that I tend to use depending on my trader level. The most basic comprises of an MP133 8 round mag, the cylinder muzzle and GKO2 afterwards with a target ring optic and a sprut with an NC star blue laser. You can grab a flashlight if you prefer but this is what I use. This build is genuinely, honestly fine for completing the quest. After level 40 and getting mechanic 4, I usually upgrade to the monster claw muzzle as it dramatically reduces the recoil of the gun and costs under 10k so we may as well. But as we said before, given we're still in the high 100s of recoil, you lose sight of the target with either build, and the recoil itself doesn't determine how fast the weapon settles, just how high it goes, so it doesn't really matter that much. This is 21 ergo and 146 recoil, so version 3 is the fully modded one with the stock adapter, which amazingly only comes to 48k of parts, so 78k of total. It's still really, really cheap. However, you may notice that using the Chris stock, for example, as good bang for buck, the stats are 31 ergo and 146 recoil still, so we just get 10 ergonomics for doing this and no extra recoil benefit at all. It does make the gun two slots wide though for enemies looting, not that the 153 is particularly taken anyway. So as for customs itself, you can head to the highly contested PvP hotspots if you really want to, such as dorms and gas station, but although this is a PvP quest, I don't think that it is necessarily the easiest strategy. Typically players in these locations are A highly geared and B more experienced than the average player, and in knowing these areas extremely well can make it difficult for you to secure kills there, especially if you're not a regular shotgun user. The long 153 build is also kind of awkward inside, getting stuck on doors and stuff. What I found most effective was to play in the areas nearby with high player traffic but slightly away from where the more formulaic PvP takes place. The edges of Big Red are decent, using the wall breaks and the foliage to move around, especially at the beginning of a raid. Between Dorm's Hill, the boat extract and the nearby part of construction is good at various times in the raid, again using the walls, bushes and slopes to path, flank and surprise people. The bit around and inside Old Gas Station is also the perfect range for shotgun engagements which can work well from about the middle of the raid because people often use it to transit through, as well as the hill around New Gas. Basically you don't want to be caught out in a long range fight because you don't have a way to fight back, but the element of surprise in the more freestyle areas of the map really helps in my experience. You'll be expected in dorms, other places not so much. Next let's take a look at some gameplay to get an idea of how this goes down. It's easier to show than tell in this instance. DS-150 stock is indeed very good. We're not going that way this time. We're going to go... We just go right through here. Not run around there for too long. We'll get our head taken off. Now the... the... What's another scav? He was about to say. <laughs> no wonder I have no stamina when I just like run around the map playing like I have max endurance when in fact my endurance is about 17. Where did he go? We did it! <laughs> Wee! Whoop, 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 Oh, Flechette's one hell of a drug, eh? I'm amazed he didn't die. He was probably just like aim punched, broken legs, like trying to move. Ah! Ah! Nope! Oh, there's a full firing squad!
Got him. No, there was another one. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe he didn't die. Maybe it was just the. Maybe it was just the. Uh, just the sound. What a raid, though. Four bears. Oh my god. Yeah, I got three. I got three and killed by the last guy. <laughs> Always another one. I know. No, no, I know. That sucks. But anyway, we completed the quest. That was super fun. <laughs> No! Well, that was a mess, wasn't it? Right, so there could be more than one. I'm gonna we're gonna do a big circle. Glass power like something that drastic. Okay, well... So we have it on in there, the UMP. Comtax. I'm not sure if that was PMC. There's somebody else here. Okay. I didn't shoot because I thought you were a scav. I'm just been killed by you. <laughs> Hi, Lowen. Mm. Hello, I finally caught you streaming. Hello, dude. It's going good. It's going good. We are in an interesting spot here at Gas. Don't have a great deal of cover. Don't know where this person is, but it sounds like they've got an AK of some kind. Hmm, I should probably stop wandering around here. I wanted to go in and see if Rochelle was in there. Let's like, let's loop the far side. Let's loop the far side. Yeah, this is the first real raid, non-scav raid. I think somebody just like whizzed through here before, but. Is that the Rashala gang? He looks a lot more kitted than the usual boy. What am I doing? Ow. Which 762 do you find yourself preferring this wipe? 35 or 51? Probably 39. I think partly because of the expense of the new of the guns, because the M1A and the Well, that's what I needed to do. How much health have I got on my... My Corand is like... Super destroyed. No, I'm not sure. Was that... Was that PMC or... Yeah, I think that last one was PMC. Nice M4. Okay, let's have a look at this one. We've got here BT. Honestly, that will probably do. Um, let's go and let's go and find Rash next. Another one there. Could do with some new armor. Good job I've already got the pistol. <laughs> nine five, nice. That a lot of M nine five. 
convenience nature, how you take them down so easily. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's some, sometimes it's easier than others. It doesn't always work out. Oh. Like, Vishal is not too bad. You just have to know how to fight him. I hope I don't stay too long. Hmm, that one's no better. Take the M2. I want to keep this on because, um, just in case I meet another PMC. I don't want to end up in a situation where, you know, I, w I wasn't able to get something for the quest. Okay. Oh my god, no! Shall I not always carry the golden TT? Unfortunately not. Yeah, it's quite upsetting actually that he doesn't. Now I think there were two. Nice kill of me. I was alone. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to kill people for setup. There seems to be a lot of dudes around. Like, who's this guy? The man with the gas welders. Yo, beefy Wednesday. Indeed, indeed, indeed it is. Um, okay. We got big vector, great. Axe. Sprut. Has he got like a ton of stuff or? I guess he's got some stuff. I wanted to get the guy that we killed who came in chat. I feel like we need to relocate. I doubt I'm going to make this jump. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so he's over on that side. We got him. We got him. I'm gonna go and get the guy who came in chat. And the extract's open too. Like the worst possible thing. Right. You get it off someone or Oh you level Oh it's 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 bugged, yeah. Yeah, the the um the things are really bugged right now. Okay. Right, then this guy. Yeah, there's it. I think that got him.
and an AC. Nice. Magnus or Flechette for customs? Um, I think Flechettes. Or everywhere. <laughs> Unless you're really trying to snipe. I just think Flechettes are just better. Just because you can be close up and then... And then just murder people. Chatter Mask isn't worth it for the space. The question now is, do we go back in here? Rather than go all the way, because Crossroads Trailer Park's like really far. Reset? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm just thinking like I'm really far from the, uh, I'm really far from the extract. You don't have old gas? I don't have old gas, I don't think. No, because I, I didn't start over here. I did, sorry, I didn't start over there. I started over this side. That's the problem. If I could, if I had old gas, then I'd, I'd have left out of it ages ago. It's kind of dangerous, but... I hope I bought my docks case. <laughs> that would have been awkward, wouldn't it? Always bring the factory exit key to customs, friends. You never know when it's going to come in useful. Next up, take a look at my video comparing the 153 to the 155, which goes into detail about the various budget and modded builds and how they actually perform against each other. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons. Hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video. And as always, have fun in your raids.